I'm trying not to lose tempo by attacking pieces that aren't worth attacking so they'll lose me tempo this is another aggressive type of player so trying to use the same principle that we used in the previous aggressive player game obviously he wants to push down onto our bishop looking to condense it if we push here though then he's looking to advance his pawn down quid pro quo could just push the pawn here because we know that he's going to condense down give space for the bishop is there something better that can be done I don't believe there's any point bringing this here because the queen is going to come here knight comes to defend but then the pawn pushes down onto the knight the knight can't move so sort of strangulate, strangulating myself there this pawn has one piece protecting which is the queen is it one of those where we just develop the knight the threat is this if we did push he pushes and he's got two center pawns ramping down are they really of any benefit to them that's the question I'm just going to push this pawn here we know he's going to drop here is it really strong you know sometimes we get a bit panicked about pawns pushing through I remember an early tournament that I went to when I first what he's taken I didn't think that was going to happen does this mean they've lost that moment of tempo is this like the banana slip thing oh, probably so because now the knight's coming here he's going castling it looks like Mmm. Castle? Yeah, I was just going to say, when I went to an early tournament, I think it was this, probably the, might have been the first competition that I ever went to in Harrogate. And this opponent just pushed these pawns down the center. And it sort of like did the boa, boa constrictor type situation. And it was really lovely to see. It was um, he he used it well. He used it really well. It was just a slow process, but he supported his pieces as they came down. And I struggled to get out of that situation. But later on, when I analysed that particular game, because it was really good, it was really quite clever. And um, because at that time I didn't know you could just push the pawns down the centre and win with just the pawns. That was unbelievable. But because I didn't know what I know now. Um, they wouldn't have got away with it then so this bishop and the queen are attacking here but the king is defending so really is the queen just attacking the pawn so like I say this is an attacking monster I'm trying to see if there's any ways in for me so I'm not sure that pushing this pawn actually works but I'm going to do it anyway There's lots of stuff I learned in those early competitions because I was really interested in the actual competitions, not really the league games. The issue I had with the league games was that the time of day of them was so so late, you know, it's like after work time thing, you know, seven o'clock and jaded, absolutely jaded, you know, most of the time. So my brain wasn't functioning as best as it could. And this is no excuse. This is just the reality of the case. And then I'd play some games on Saturday, but then that would be after training. So when I've put in a um, hard afternoon's worth of training, sparring, you know, sweating up and, you know, your muscles, you just want to go and eat, you know, you want some f fulfilling food. So again, that didn't really work for me. So the competitions were more where I was relaxed, I was calmed, I was ready and prepared for it. You know, my body was ready for it nice time of day good get up in early in the morning and spend the whole day just playing chess you know and walking around talking to chess players etc so there's a massive difference that's why i enjoyed the competitions more i must realize i'm actually playing a game here <laughs> so 
Yeah, this pawn's got no protection on it, but his knight is defending this square. Could x-ray through onto his rook. His pawn is facing our queen, so I'm just going to x-ray onto the rook. Just as an aside. As expected, so he wants his knight taken, so the knight can take it back less pieces on the board and less for us to worry about still got his rook facing our keep queen have to be careful and he's still got this here as well so we can just bring the bishop here just attacking this pawn potentially the knight coming to attack but the pawn's just going to drop probably sides then on attacking the bishop and the queen simple as that I'm not going any further with that type of thing it's coming to press onto the bishop so I'm just going to bring this up here still got the sights off here here if we can but we do have a bit of an issue because if we do do that his bishop could come here then x-ray through to the rook but we pressuring on the queen yeah I think we can still maintain that let's go with that while he's pressing onto our bishop here sometimes you can get set in your process you go oh I'm still going for it and then somehow they win out you know so when he pushes this pawn do I continue because I'm attacking the queen yes um, but he's not doing that so we'll go here anyway and attack the queen probably get the bishop but I think the queen is just going to come here bring the bishop here attacking his queen then does the pawn drop probably does if we take maybe the rook then takes but then the bishop will take so we're going to take the bishop knights hunt the bishops in our mantra helps to speed up the process a little bit having some type of mantra okay so the move dead quick I think they feel like they've got something sewn up knights defended by the queen at the moment he's still going to be pushing down onto this bishop maybe we bring the bishop here so that we don't have to do anything options 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 do a Magnus Carlson preempt it maybe bring the bishop here then we're controlling this managing this square it's nothing meaty though is there really so if we came there block this pawn Let's go here see if we can block this pawn it's very defensive it's just I didn't really want to overextend it probably was a nice maneuver to go in here or maybe even here just to attack the rook block off the queen but it's got an elevated pawn maybe we have to think about that so this is a nice game It's just got it. Oh, it's a 10 second increment. It's a 10 minute, 10 second increment. Knight's moved. Okay. So we could still continue with the knight blocker, but is there anything different from his knight move? Sorry, the bishop blocker. If we go there, it probably looks like his knight is coming here to just dislodge it. don't really see too much wrong with it because it's attacking this pawn the queen's protecting that pawn at the minute could bring this queen here to get a two on one type situation as well 
like we said the knight's coming down so just bring the queen here take and then we're still on the pawn in a sense It's small incremental steps they're just inching forward they're at, they are aggressive they look they've done targeting quite well and as I mentioned in the previous game this is the type of stuff that can put people off of playing chess when opponents come out and they're targeting and they just they look really you know they're on point with every move that they make every single move seems to be doing something but there is a small moment where you can take advantage of ooh, you can take advantage of their situation if we go there that's wrong because his knight takes with a check yeah there's always a moment like here bishop attacking the rook just to disturb the equilibrium a bit but we really didn't want this pawn coming down so he's obviously brought his knight to protect that area there's always an answer there's always some type of solution get the rooks into the game owning the file that is an important um, piece of kit so oh have they gone oh, but it, did they make a mistake and I missed it I bet you I missed it didn't I because usually they leave when they've made some sort of mistake what did I miss oh that <laughs> Bishop with a check on his king. That's why he was leaving. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you see. And I was just saying, once if there's always a an in. And the opponent saw that they'd made a mistake by bringing the queen back. Because it was, I think it was protecting this pawn, was it not? Yeah, it was protecting that pawn and then it moved so he's come back online now because I missed the opportunity to protect the pawn so either a rook or his queen comes and protects it damn missed opportunity there with me chit chat chit chat <sighs> okay that's why I like playing these anonymous games because you, you don't really know the level of whoever you're playing um, as we've seen, the, the standards vary. Mr. Aggressive Guy, and then we had um, the three hour game, which um, only lasted probably five minutes, um, both games. And then we've got this one here, where they're targeting again aggressively, and they had a little bit of a loophole, like we were talking about, but we didn't take advantage of it, which was that there. So we're not going to get that opportunity now because the opponent has spotted it they've come back on they actually were going to reset well they actually had left the game because we could have claimed victory but now that I've not taken advantage of that I've lost tempo but I've gained tempo because I'm owning a file I'm owning the file with the rook so I'm not going to lose any sleep over it <coughs> if he hasn't seen that fact then obviously we take the pawn but that would be a good enough reason for an opponent to say ah oh, drat I've lost tempo is it me moving oh hold on I, I went back didn't I yeah so he's defended it with the rook <laughs> oh dear that's funny so we can ooh, we can we can we can oh I can't even move the rook up I was looking for a little bit of a space to double up. We might have to do something a little bit arty. Mm hmm. Okay. Face the queen. Keep it simple. Yeah. Why not? Face the queen. When there's nothing to do, go back to basics <coughs> and just have a look at the board and see what what is going to give strength. He's not doing too bad actually with these peas, these pawns here, and this knight is in a nice position because I can't actually challenge at the minute, and I don't really want to bring my queen here because of the discovered check he's got with his queen. Sorry, my king. I keep calling them queens. My king. 
so all in all it looks a little bit boa constrictish but now we know the opponent can make a mistake and we've got to be able to jump on it and not talk too much let's go for a another loss in tempo thing so he doesn't actually know what to do next that's a good thing that's a good sign he's got a two on one with the bishop and the rook so we can't do that don't want to do too many non moves still can't go here can I can't go there there, can't go there, can't go there. Must be something with this magic bishop. I believe the bishop needs to just um, make them think that this pawn is going to be okay. Then it can fashion some sort of attack here on the pawn. If the knight takes, then the rook takes. I don't think they will do though. So I'm going to make a move, a positive move. Let's get the bishop in the game. It's opposite the king, so all nice. Well, it's aiming towards the weak pawn in front of the king. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So he's done a few backward moves. <coughs> One with the queen, then he's mo moving the king across here. Now he's facing our king area. Has it landed on anything? Just feeling okay about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still gotta go there, but can I go? No. Nope. No, no, nothing's really changed there. Just move the queen along. What about my queen? What, what, what can my queen do? <laughs> now I can move my king. So if I move my king, there's no diagonal from his queen. If I move the king, protecting the pawn. I think his tempo is to push down here and then I can take his knight if he pushes down there so that's not going to work for them is it so I'm going to move my king is he trying to come and then come this way with the queen I don't really think so so if that push comes he's forgotten about his knight and we take the knight oh lord and we take the knight with a check <laughs> we're just going through that demonstration um, but I won't laugh just yet there may be method in their madness but we calculated had a look at the position it looked fairly okay for us I'm surprised they did that actually I'm surprised so I don't want to do anything silly now because he's got pawns in front of me if I take, open up and then he his rooks then close me down that's not going to be good is it can I get his queen could attack his queen he doesn't have to exchange but I think uh, yeah let's go with that so he's got the pawn we can take here yeah. is a minor piece down probably won't exchange so it's going to be dancing it's probably going to still want to stay close to my king to cause some disruption so it might be better just doing this staying on a white square as well because I've got a dark square bishop oh my word followed everything okay right so we could push here with the pawn he does on pass on we can take
His rooks are scared of coming to here because we've got the bishop. So then we can face off his queen a bit. He's got this diagonal here now. What, what happens there? Oh my god, my time's running out. Oh, my time's running out. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Oh, 10 second increment, but still. Oh, that's too much thinking. And then we were going to go here. And then his queen's got this thing here, hasn't it? Wow, too much thinking. I thought it was a longer game. I got embroiled. Right. So it comes with the check. We can look to exchange. Is that too fast? If they forget themselves, like we say, we've got the ninja bishop. Just reminding myself. So if we come here, does he take anything off the board after that? Nope, okay. Um, so he's on a dark square now. Uh, do, 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 do. I should be in attack mode, really, you know. I should be attacking something. I should be attacking his king area. I should be doing stuff like this and maybe that but can't get that in because he's got the rooks there oh have I just given him something not really no let's go here just play it nice and steady so it's gonna go back to Wednesday came so bring the bishop here he doesn't do that He's got the bottom pawn though, hasn't he? Could we do something here? Do -do 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 -do. Let's bring this here. Just defending. I was just thinking of getting something round the back here to attack this pawn. So we do have access here. But this rook needs to protect here because it's going to put a check on. And if I can bring this rook up, maybe I should have brought this rook up because this is the one that's got the access to this point. Duh. Oh, I could really just simplify and double up target down here but he's got the check on the king so again oh no did I run out of time oh no he resigned way let's have a look at the analysis was it resignable but whoa, whoa minus 4.9 okay resignable it is interesting yeah I quite like that yeah we missed the opportunity earlier on with the bishop taking the pawn and then there was all this dancing going on around here but I think we, it was pretty clear once this knight disappeared we talked through that process I'm really surprised they did that but like I say you can get into tunnel vision you know you've got your focus point the queen's behind the pawn so everything's covered and sometimes you think that your pieces are protected somehow strangely and i mentioned that in the um the journey through to the answer basically um, and also i think it was in, in one of the earlier over the board games where there's it happens to quite a few people online over the board um, higher level rated players, lower rated players, where you you tend you get into this vision of uh, if I've got a cluster of pawns or a cluster of pieces that they actually supporting each other, and then you find out later on, like case in point like this, that they're not actually supported, so a, a piece can be taken. So I fall for it, and um, I see other people fall for it as well. So we we'll just try and be mindful of that type of thing, 
maybe your pawns aren't supporting or maybe your knights not supported or your bishops not supported and obviously take advantage of bishops taking pawns as well <laughs> you know that type of thing so I missed that opportunity and the opponent left the game at this point here uh, when they moved their queen back because their queen was supporting the pawn yeah look it's showing should have just taken there how much would it have given me that at minus 1.3 okay and what did we actually do whoa draw draw ish with the rook minus well minus 0.1 <laughs> so it wasn't a major detriment but actually taking the pawn would have been the icing on the cake good game